Yeah, I should see. Can you pass me my book for two so I can, like, <laughs> review what my uh, biography is? <laughs> okay, so I grew up in a really small community, a small artistic community, which was in Nelson, BC. I worked at several different animation studios um, over a period of about seven years. One of the owners of Dynamite Cartoons was Philip Craig, a well-known oil painter. And um, it was through him that I ended up getting into some of my first galleries. And Initially I was painting um, mostly landscapes for galleries, but um, I'd always really been interested in figure painting. So I, I began to like nurture that interest by going to various workshops at different academies. And I had an amazing experience going down to Santa Fe um, to study with Yu Chi Wong at the Andreva Portrait Academy. Um, seeing Yu Chi paint was amazing and just the whole overall experience like changed my life. I don't think that right away um, any of that sort of life-changing thing that was happening in me came through in my work. Initially I was just like really learning the aesthetic principles of painting through Yuchi, but there was like a transformation going on through that experience that started to permeate my work later. It's always hard to know where anything will take me. Like my ultimate goal is to really just you know, do whatever I'm feeling at that time. So, um, yeah, lately I've been doing like a lot of self-portraits and sometimes painting like my family and stuff, like in this one, which is a painting of my sister. I think what appeals to me most about painting self-portraits is the, like, the fact that it can be like a vehicle <clears throat> for self-introspection. Kind of helps me to like accept where I'm at and move through that. A lot of the time, you can like put yourself. If you like look at another person and you're wondering how they're thinking or feeling, you can even like put yourself in their actual physical body position and their facial emotion, a uh, facial expression, and like that, you'll start to feel how they actually feel. And there's that kind of empathy between people that we can really like understand visually. I have a different approach to any different paint. You know, I really let the painting dictate how it should end up, so sometimes my pieces end up more tight or more painterly. When I was in Italy, I got really interested in doing that sort of thing, and I found myself, at first when I was in Italy, I did a number of different small sketches to get an idea of what, um, how things would work. They actually, like, let me sit right in the Bardini and, um, yeah, and, like, paint right inside the Bardini. Um, so I was able to get like really more accurate colors than you can get like from photo um, by doing that and then I was able to use this study as well as some photos that I had taken and use that like as reference for the final uh, 21 inch by 18 inch painting that I did of me and our mother. Um, in Italy there's like a like real reverence for artists and a real respect so um, you never, yeah, you would never be painting outdoors and be like disturbed by people who would come along and try and talk to you. They would always be really respectful and just like, ah, oh, bravissima or something. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be like to do with the history, the Italian history of art and how like artists were often working like alongside church leaders or other, um, you know, high up <laughs> sort of people like in, in There was society. the Pope and, <laughs> yeah. and an artist and there was like Michelangelo. <laughs> Yeah, right beside. Yeah, like completely, totally. I'm not always it's answering really, your questions. Perfect. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. It just triggered something. Yeah, that's yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, okay, that was perfect. Cool. <laughs>